this session, we will introduce the fundamental of computer security and provide some basic terminologies about security and threats. We use the internet and computers every day, including communications via email and messaging. We contact the government, finance, healthcare, and university. Consider how much of your personal information is stored either on your own computer or on someone else's system. How is that data and system on which that data resides kept secure? Computer security involves protecting the information and system we rely on every day, whether at home, work, school, or hospital. Learning Objectives After completing this session, you should be able to describe the definition and the importance of computer security, understand the concept of logical and physical security, understand computer threats and malware, describe the difference between computer virus, worm, and Trojan horse. What is computer security? Computer security, also known as cyber security or IT security, it is the protection of computer system and information from theft or damage to the hardware, the software, and to the information on them, as well as from disruption or misdirection of the services provided. Also, computer security basically focuses on the protection of unauthorized use, which is the process of preventing and detecting unauthorized use of your computer system. Why is computer security important? Anything that relies on the internet for communication or is connected to a computer or other smart device can be affected by a breach in security. This includes communication systems like email, phone, and text messages, transportation systems including traffic control, car engines, airplane navigation system, government database including social security numbers, license, tech records, financial system including bank accounts, loans, and paychecks, medical system including equipment and medical records, educational system including grades, report card, and research information. These reasons imply that your data should be remain safe and confidential. Therefore, it is necessary to protect your computer and hence the need for security arise. In addition, the reasons why computer security is important Prevention of data theft such as bank account numbers, credit card information, and passwords. Data present in a computer can be misused by unauthorized intrusions. And intruders can modify and change the program source codes and can also use your pictures or email accounts to make something bad in the internet. Malicious intents can also be a factor in computer security. Intruders often use your computers for attacking other computers or websites or networks. Computer security affects everyone. Cyber security doesn't involve just businesses and the government. Your computer, tablet, and cell phone probably contain information that hackers and other criminals would love to have, like other people's email addresses, names, and birth dates. For example, a hacker had access to your contact information. He could then send an email to everyone you know using your name, encouraging them to click on a link containing malware they created. There are two types of computer security, logical and physical security. Today, security can mean either physical security as in physical access control, or logical security as in virus detection or unauthorized access. Logical access control generally features identification, password access, authentication, and authorization protocols. This is different than physical access control, which utilizes keys, patch, or other tokens to allow access to certain areas. In computer security, a threat is a possible danger that might exploit a vulnerability to breach security and thus cause possible harm to a system 
or overall organization. There are many different threats to your computer safety. If you do not take measures to keep your computer safe, your computer and you could become the target of a cybercrime. Cybercrimes are the third instance when criminals, known as hackers or attackers, access your computer for malicious reasons. You can fall victim anytime you are on the unprotected computer. There are three main types of threats. National threats, for example, flash or a tornado. Unintentional threats, such as an employee mistakenly accessing the wrong information. And intentional threats. There are many examples of intentional threats, including spyware, malware, adware companies, or the action of an employee. In addition, computer viruses, worms, and Trojan hosts are also categorized as threats because they could potentially cause harm to your organization as well. Malware Malware is the general term covering all the different types of threats to your computer safety, including virus, spyware, worms, trojans, phishing, and so on. Spyware Designed to spy on the victim's computer, it collects information about users without their knowledge. Virus A computer virus is a small piece of software that can spread from one infected computer to another. The virus could call off, steal, or delete data on your computer. Even erasing everything on your hard drive, a virus could also use other programs like your email program to spread itself to other computers. Trojan Horse Users can infect their computers with Trojan Horse software simply by downloading an application they thought was legitimate but was in fact malicious. Once inside your computer, a Trojan Horse can do anything from record your passwords by locking keystrokes, known as a keystroke locker, to hijacking your webcam to watch and record your every move. Computer Worm a computer worm is a software program that can copy itself from one computer to another without human interaction. Worms can replicate in great volume and with great speed. For example, a worm can send copies of itself to every contact in your email address book and then send itself to all the contacts in your contact address books. Phishing Phishing scams are fraudulent attempts by cyber criminals to obtain private information. Phishing scams often appear in the fake email message, designed to appear as though they are from legitimate sources. For example, the message would try to trick you into giving your personal information by pretending that your bank or email service provider is updating its website and that you must click on the link in the email to verify your account information and password details. Botnet Botnet is a group of computers connected to the internet that have been compromised by a hacker using a computer virus or Trojan horse. The difference between a virus, worm, and Trojan horse A computer virus attaches itself to a program or file. It cannot copy itself to other files unless you copy the file yourself, so it can spread from one computer to another. Almost all viruses are attached to an executable file, which means that the virus may exist on your computer, but it cannot infect your computer unless you run or open the malicious program. People continue the spread of a computer virus by sharing infecting files or sending emails with virus and attachment in the email. Worm Unlike virus, a computer worm doesn't delete anything. It just copies and replicates itself without any help from a person. It will slow down your computer because it can send out hundreds or thousands of copies of itself, creating a huge devastating effect. Trojan A Trojan horse is not a virus. It looks like a normal application. Trojan horse do not replicate themselves but they can be just 
as destructive. Trojans also open a backdoor entry to your computer which gives malicious users or programs access to your system, allowing confidential and personal information to be theft. You have completed the learning of computer security. Now, you are required to go to your reading assignments, post your idea as well as exchange opinion with your classmates in the discussion board. Thank you.